Hello everyone, my name is Gina, and today, as you saw in our title, we are doing our try on of the March, April bean box. I know, I'm catching up, okay? And for those of you who are not familiar with the bean box, all the details are down below, plus there is a coupon code if you'd like to check it out. Now, it, this is not just a trial, but this is a first impressions and our review on the products that come in this box, okay? So, not everything that I have on my face was in this box, but everything that was in this box is on my face, okay? So, my face or my eyes, how about that? Okay, so we're going to talk about those things and in the end we'll touch on the other things that are there. So, in our bean box for the month of March and April, we started off with, of course, we need a primer, right? So the primer that we used is, this is not just a sunscreen, it's a multi-talented sunscreen. It delivers a broadband spectrum SPF 35 and a dose of moisture that lasts 24 hours. It also wonderfully primes the skin for makeup, hence our primer. Okay, now it says apply it as your last step before applying your makeup or you can wear it without makeup, but you must make sure you have at least 15 minutes before you're going out into the sun. Okay, and that is this product right here, which is what the outer packaging looks like. And the manufacturer suggested retail price is $18. Now this is a one fluid ounce size and it's sheer flesh. That's what it's called. All right. And it has a 12 month shelf life. Now I liked using this. It felt very, very moisturizing on the skin and the best part about there is no flashback. There is no um, uh, purple or white cast from it. Very, very good. Yes, I will be using this throughout the summer until this is gone and I get another one or something else. So, will I recommend this to you? Absolutely. And at a price of $18, that's really not bad. Then... After that, we'll come back to the um, foundation. But after that, we used our concealer, okay? Now, the concealer that we used is by the company Pretty Vulgar. This is it right here. Do I still have the box? I don't believe so, okay? And this concealer is the undercover concealer it's lightweight and it's a gel serum concealer it's formulated to be hydrating buildable and provide coverage for a natural flawless finish okay now it does say you can also use it to prime the lids before applying your shadow the manufacturer suggested retail price for this one is 24 dollars and the shade that I have is, wow, number 64, which is actually called On The Rocks, all right? Now, pretty vulgar. I've used their products before. I've liked them. This was no different. I do like the way it looks. I am, of course, going to put a picture up here of me without my glasses on either now or throughout um, as we talk about each item, okay? Now, it felt amazing when we put it on. Um, it, for some reason, I don't know why, and it could just be because, fortunately, my office is very cool. So in here, it could just be because the, the room is cool that the concealer was cool. 
but I do like it. It was buildable. It looked wonderful. Um, it blended well with not just a brush, but also with a beauty sponge or blender, whichever you decide to use with it. Is this recommended by me? Absolutely. Absolutely. So then after that, of course, let's talk about this eye look. Let's talk about this eye look. All right. Now, we use the palette this month by a company called Estate Cosmetics. And this is the Mystic Forest palette. All right. It says this high pigment palette blends like magic and features nine shades and a range of formulas, including mattes, velvety shimmers, and buttery metallics. Okay. The manufacturer suggested retail price for this item. Okay. Is only $30. Now, it does have a mirror on it. Um, it has, it is cruelty free and it is a vegan product. And let's see, is there anything else I need to tell you? Yes, it does have a 12 month shelf life. Now I'm just going to cover the mirror so we can appreciate these shades. Okay. Now this is what I used on my eyes today. It was absolutely amazing the shades that i only this palette i didn't use anything else so the shades that i used were moss mystic forest fairy dust pixie and on top of my liner i put black bear okay they are beautiful they swatch nicely um, it was not a lot of fallout. Definitely recommend this palette. I don't believe I've had anything else by this company, but I certainly will. Uh, I certainly have no problem using them again. Okay. Okay. So the next item that I cannot show you any longer, I'll tell you why in just a minute, was by the company Chella Beauty, and that was the Good Drama Mascara. And it says this moisturizing and buildable mascara brings good drama to your lashes with high def lengthening and curl that last all day. Never clumpy, and as my sidekick said, it's not crunchy on your lashes, okay? Now, it is vegan and it is cruelty free and the manufacturer suggested retail price $25. Now, why can't I show it to you? Because my daughter has it. Okay, she says, oh, mommy, this is really good. You would really have liked this a lot. How about that? So, definitely recommended. Okay, I apologize that I can't show you what it looked like, but in this box, it was wonderful. Then the last item that was in this box was very, very unique. Never, ever saw anything like this before. And it's by the company Jasmine Beauty. This is what the outer packaging looks like. Okay, and this is this unique packaging that is this product right here. And it is a three-in-one on the go lippy. This lippy features one lipstick and two glosses. And it says it's for added hydration and shine formulated with vitamin E, hyaluronic acid, and sun protection ingredients, okay? The manufacturer suggested retail price is $22. This was worth every bit of that $22. So before I jump ahead too much further, let me just say that it is a vegan and cruelty-free product, okay? And it's also a woman-owned brand. Okay, now, I used all three when I did this. Okay, the gloss is kind of coming off a little bit here. So let's see. Oh, 
okay? Now, it's not sticky at all, at all, okay? If you notice, my lips are not pulling apart. I like it. It's very moisturizing. It's very soothing, even, I would say. And it fits wonderfully in my makeup bag in my purse okay so recommended absolutely i have to tell you i loved everything that was in the beam box now i will tell you um i have learned that the curator of this box she does an amazing job when she chooses items for us now she prides herself in choosing shades for a darker hue okay and a lot of times I probably would not have chosen the items that were in these boxes but I'm glad that she did there hasn't been a product that I didn't like yet okay not that I can remember okay and I must well I liked everything that came in this box. So, do I recommend the Beam Box? Absolutely. Absolutely. You really should try it out. I believe that you would love it. It is an every other month box. It doesn't even cost $40, okay? So, look into that. Even if you just try it once, okay? Use the code down below. You can purchase items off of her site as well as get a subscription, okay? Now, I do want to tell you there are other things that are on my face that really do stand out, okay? But they are not what this is all about, but I must tell you. So the lip liner that I have on is by Juvia's Place, and it is the uh, Lux Liner in Brownie, this one right here. Now, this particular foundation is something that's new to this channel. It's not a new foundation. It's just I haven't used it before that I can remember. And it's the Remo London Stay Matte, okay? The shade that I am wearing is 502 Warm Caramel. And then the blush and highlight that I am wearing is by the Godly Glow. And the shades that I used are overly pigmented because I just touched it and it's all over my hand. Look. <laughs> okay, so the shades that I did use are this and this. I blended them together to make sure that the blush did not make me look like I had big old gigantic apples sitting on these big cheeks right here, okay? And I used this highlighter right here, okay? Now, I just want to say I thank you so very much for choosing to spend time with me on today as we did our try on review and first impression of our March and April, March, April bean box. Okay, now remember, regardless of the season that you are in, you will always be a seasoned beauty. Until next time.